What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 72 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I have for you guys a Champions League double header. We're going to be taking on both Arsenal and Shakhtar Donetsk at home. I'm hoping we might be able to secure our first ever win in the Champions League. If you missed last episode, go check it out as always. It was an epic game. We were taking on of course Benfica and well there's a player here on this screen who let us down and as a result won't be playing today. It's worth noting He's been relegated with three separate teams from the Premier League. Maybe that is a sign of just how good John Flanagan is. Hopefully for us, he's not going to be as bad and he can, well, once he gets unsuspended, actually put in some good shifts for us. But anyway, because we have so many games to get through today, I'm not going to dilly-dally around too much. There was one game to tell you guys about since the last episode. It was in the league. It was a 6-0 win against Europa Point. I will show you the first goal, only because it happened after 12 seconds from kickoff. It's the fastest goal, I do believe, in the league history and our club's history. It flew into the back of the net. Russo, the finisher, the Italian stallion with the goal on the 13th second or the 12th second. It was a crazily fast goal. Definitely one, uh, I guess, for the history books. So anyway, that was the only game you guys have missed. We are going to get into this Arsenal game, however. And in terms of the team selection, there are a few changes. Uh, both Cruz and Flanagan have both been suspended due to getting a certain amount of yellow cards. I think they're both out for one game. Also in some injury news, Sean Jackson, one of our big kind of strike threats, out of a back strain. Going to be out for three to four weeks, unfortunately for us. The 20-year-old American not going to be able to play today as a result. The young Italian stallion who, well, scored the fastest goal in the club's history, Daniele Russo, comes back into the side. A player who, to be honest, has impressed me when he's played. And hopefully he can have an impact from the start here, the 17-year-old on loan, of course, from Inter. So anyway, this is the team we are going to go with. It's pretty standard. We go with Italo, then we go with Marriott, Thompson, or Thomas even, uh, Brown and Patterson. Brown and Patterson, of course, the loanies from Southampton and Norwich. Midfield, Smith, Braun, Bouchard and McVitie. Braun coming in for the suspended Cruz for this game. And then up front, Jair, without his partnership of, of course, with Jackson, the double Js. It's instead going to be the J R duo for us as Russo and Jair play together. Right, let's get into this game. Of course, we are going to be playing the 4-4-2 counter. Arsenal quite heavily favourites. They won their first game against Shakhtar 2-1. Of course, we want to try and cause a bit of an upset here. We want to encourage the players. We want to try and get that first ever Champions League win. Whether or not we can get it in today's episode, I don't really know. I mean, it's going to be a challenge. We know it's going to be a challenge. Arsenal, a very, very good team. I think it's fair to say they've got some quality players. I'm looking at their team. But we're going to try and cause an upset. And actually, we might have a chance here early on. Jair, Braun, Bouchard, back to Marriott. Of course, the aim with today's game really has got to be not to go down to 10 men. As McVitie scores for us. <coughs> and because he's scored, I've decided I need to choke. I was that surprised. What a goal. Two minutes in, and we have half a chance, and we make it count. Of course, last time out, the red card. Oh, what a flick. Sorry, sorry, we need to go back. Can we discuss the pass from Russo here, the Italian I want I want to discuss this pass. How what has he done here? Are you ready for this? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in slow mo. It was that good. Oh, oh I love it. right. Go back again. Sorry, uh, my neighbours are gonna think I'm watching something that isn't Football Manager when they hear the groans coming. It was that good. I just want to watch it again. Bouchard goes to Marriott and then he he kind of touches it with his left peg. And then with his right foot he just does a crazy flick. The Italian. Oh, I'm I'm all over that. I'm loving that. 1-0. Great start here. Of course, we now have a long time to hold on in this game, really. Last time out, though, we kept a clean sheet for 75 minutes all the way until, well, Flanagan decided he didn't want to play football anymore and got red carded for what was a needless foul. But anyway, Arsenal on the attack here. Chamberlain, Dragomir, Lincoln threaded through. And, well, OK, that's quite a good finish. I'll give him that. Lincoln, the Brazilian striker, with his first ever goal for Arsenal... Assume he was signed in the summer. I have no idea how good he is. I know he's a bit of a wonder kid, and that was a wonder strike right there. Dragomir threading him through. And then on his left foot across the keeper. I mean, maybe the keeper should do a little bit better. I mean, we held the lead for five minutes. I mean, it's not quite what we did against Benfica, let's be honest. But we're still in this game. We're still ahead, although there is a highlight here. Maybe it's for us. Braun, Bouchard... Tries to thread through Adam Smith. Slid away, though, by Bellerin. Apparently, it was a good tackle. And now Odegaard with the ball. 
And now Arsenal, they're going to try and build from the back. We are going to, of course, set up to try and hit them on the break if we can. They're passing the ball around a lot at the back. Our midfield getting baited quite high up here. And, well, maybe Arsenal will look to capitalise on that as now we are losing our shape at the back. Where is the defence? There was no back four there. The ball hits the post. Italo collects it as well after it hits the post. And we live to fight another day here. I mean, we've scored in this game. It's better than what we did last time. But it's not, it's not been convincing so far. But, I mean, if we, if we get a point, I'll take it. But there is a long time left in this game. Curiously, despite the score being 1-1, no clear-cut chances yet. Although Arsenal bringing the ball forward here. Dragomir, edge of the box. Is he going to wind up for a shot? He's not. He's going to play in Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. And Callum Patterson giving away a foul. An ill-discipline costs us for the second Champions League game in a row. It's going to be Lecomte here to hit the free kick. Or the penalty, rather. Smashes it down the middle. The French man. I assume he's French. It looks like a French name. That's what my my assumptions based off. Anyway, Lecomte with the finish. I mean, he's rifled that. The keeper doesn't even dive. The keeper hasn't moved when it hits the back of the net. It's now 2-1 Arsenal. Ill discipline at the back. Costing us there. Patterson giving away the penalty. At half time though, it looks like it is only going to be 2-1. And well, you'd have to say we're not completely out of this game just yet. I'm going to tell the players they've been unlucky so far. They're absolutely loving that. I'm also tempted to go on the attack. I've got to be honest. I feel like we might as well risk it. We might as well go full-blown YOLO. And I think that's what we're going to try and do here. Look at the performances. It's been a pretty shocking display by our defenders. Part of me just wants to bring in Medina into the team. I'm going to bring in Danny Evans, I think, for Patterson. Patterson's had a mare. We'll bring in Evans, get him on the pitch. He can't put in a worse performance there. Hopefully he won't give away a penalty now, Evans. But yeah, we're going to go on the attack in the second half. We're going to see what we can do. I feel like when we've gone on attack in games like this, it's either worked wonders for us or backfired horrifically. I'm hoping today is going to be one of those days where it looks like a genius decision as Russo breaks free. Options on ahead. Lays it off to Alan Marriott. To Smith. Crossed. Russo, he's offside. Oh, I wanted, I wanted to get carried away and I can't. The flag... Raised by the official, denying us the goal. But it's a promising sign, you know, having a goal disallowed whilst we're on attack. Gives me faith that this might be a way back into the game. As The longer we sit on the counter, the less likely we seem to score. We, of course, got that fairly lucky, fortunate opening goal. But since then, not a lot has come our way. Jair has had a bit of a mess. So we're going to bring on uh, Delorme. Uh, or Delorme? I don't know. Answers on a postcard. We're going to bring him on. Paul Smith as well. 6.5 for him. A player who we usually look to to have big performances. Going to bring Carlos Silva on for him here. 10 minutes left in this game though. Still only the one goal separating the teams. It's been a close game really. Arsenal, they've definitely had the better of the play. And well, they might make it count here. They bring forward the ball. Lincoln, I'll say Chamberlain. They're working the ball down the left-hand side nicely. A ball whipped in. Thomas clears it up to Russo. Now can we break? Now can we make something happen? Bouchard... Can we score? Silva, the sub with a chance. It was a clear-cut opportunity. The keeper saved it, although the attack's not over. Russo, get onside, my son. Oh, that was a chance to make it 2-2 and try and snatch a point here. I mean, it's not been a bad performance again, has it? But it doesn't look like we're going to win here. And actually, Arsenal bringing the ball forward. We're having too many of these games where we put up a really good, resilient display. But just don't get anything from the game. It happens a lot in Europe as well. And, well, they've made it 3-1. It's been coming, to be honest, but we've had opportunities at 2-1 to get our way into this game and, well, be on course for a draw, and we've squandered those chances, and Arsenal have punished us with some nice finishing. Lincoln, in fact, it wasn't Lincoln, it was Lecomte, grabbing his second goal of the game. I mean, when you consider we conceded a penalty, when you consider we had that goal disallowed for offside, when you consider the clear-cut chances we've had, I, I don't feel like it's harsh and, like, perhaps a bit generous to say we've been unlucky. We really have been unlucky in this game. Granted, you know, we perhaps contributed to our own downfall with the penalty decision. But I don't know. I don't feel like... I don't feel like I felt discouraged as a result of that game. We've still got the Shakhtar game to play, like, immediately after this. So I'm hoping we can do something better there. We'll see how we get on, boys. I'm going to come back for that Shakhtar game. There's a few games in between. I'm going to kind of go over them really quickly before the Shakhtar game. Hopefully you guys will stick around... I will be back in a second and hopefully we can try and get a point and maybe dare to dream a three points here in the Champions League. So here we are back for the second leg, taking on Shakhtar this time. We are, of course, again at the Victoria Stadium. 
I mean, so far in this group, we are bottom, yes. But I feel like we have the moral victory. The moral victory of knowing we are a team who don't throw money at our players. And only sometimes. And um, who are playing against three teams who are definitely bigger than us and definitely should be beating us every day of the week. The last two games, to be honest, haven't been that bad. And, well, against Arsenal, we led for five minutes. I mean, that's got to be worth something, right? In terms of our team for today's game, this is the squad I think we're going to go with. Marriott, Thomas, Brown, Patterson, Italo in goal. Midfield four, pretty much what I consider our strongest midfield right now. Smith, Cruz, Bouchard and McVitie. Up front, we're going to go with Jet and Russo. Sean Jackson is on the bench, but he's still injured, the striker, unfortunately. So Russo keeps his spot in the side, although to be fair to him, he's done pretty well so far. He got that beautiful back heel assist against Arsenal. I'm hoping for more of the same today. Just to quickly recap, in the league, we won 6-1 and 7-0. The 6-1 result against College Europa here. I guess it's not that great, really, is it, that result? We conceded in our second game of the year. When I want to go, and when I'm aiming, really, to go for a season unbeaten to concede in the second game of the year, it's not entirely great. We also won 7-0, as you can see here, against Angels. Russo did get man of the match here. He got a brace for himself, as did Paul Smith. Unfortunately, Paul Smith could not score when it mattered in the last few games. I'm hoping that today the Australian winger can offer us something going forward. We'll see how we get on, though. We really do have to win this game if we want to get anything from this kind of, I guess, matchup. I'm going to just tell the players they're underdogs, you know. There is nothing expected of us. I want to try and win one of these games in the Champions League this year. I'm probably not going to live come all of the remaining three games preceding this one, but we'll do a few of them, I think. We'll see how we get on, you know, until we get knocked out at least. We've got to dare to dream early on though, we need to defend well and well, there's a set piece in our box and if we can't get this clear, we don't deserve to be in this game. Atalo in goal, bails us out after just a minute. Hopefully he's not going to have too busy a day today, although Shakhtar, just a, a team known for being amazing going forward, having a lot of Brazilian talent, I don't know what their team's like at the moment in this save. I imagine they've got money to spare though and money to throw at whoever they want. So that's perhaps going to be something to be concerned about. Benfica have just taken the lead against Arsenal, however. Looking at the stats, it's been a really underwhelming start to this game. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to make the ballsy decision now. We are going to play the 4-4-2 attack. We're going to try. I'm looking at the stats of the counter system. I'm not, not necessarily it's not working because, I mean, it's still 0-0. But Shakhtar dominating possession. We're yet to have a shot after 20 minutes. It's just a little bit concerning. We need to try and kind of have an I guess an influence on the game going forward. We can't really sit back and allow Shakhtar to really dictate how this game goes. So we're going to make the change there. We'll see how we get on though. Shakhtar bringing the ball forward here. Sampa, I assume that's Sergei Sampa in the midfield. Oh, okay. They've hit the woodwork. Get it clear. Patterson, he's on a booking. I'm really worried for Patterson. He gave away a penalty before. Boy, I mean, we have a discipline issue in Europe. I've decided it's official. We get red cards and give away far too many penalties. I think perhaps part of it is we're playing against bigger teams, but I just have this worry today. I don't want to change the team, you know, in the 37th minute because I'm scared of bookings. But it is seriously playing on my mind that perhaps I should make some changes. Smith, though, can we make something happen here? We can't. Gives away the ball. And now Rai is going to bring the ball forward. It's with Coyote. Whips in the ball. And, I mean, that's a nice goal by Jumanets. Or Umanets. But, I mean... I don't know. It's just it's just disappointing, isn't it? I mean, I don't expect to get anything from these games, If like being completely realistic. We need to just continue to improve the team. We need to consistently get to the kind of this stage in the competition, upgrade our facilities, up our rep, you know, bolster the reputation of the Gibraltarian League. We're really, at this point, I guess, in some ways, either waiting for that breakthrough year where we were able to get in a few really, really decent talents, or just for the Gibraltarian Premier League to pick up in rep enough. Although... I do wonder if for the league to, I guess, increase in rep enough for a TV deal, if we need to be the team that make a difference. Part of me also wonders, perhaps, if, you know, it might be this year, it's probably not going to be this year now, but, you know, in the next few years, we might just have one of these one of these runs in Europe. We seem to have these great runs to get to this stage in Europe in the Champions League, but then we take on a completely different calibre of opposition to what we've taken on previously, and we seem to come unstuck. And I do wonder if perhaps, you know, we'll have a year where we're just able to, you know, scrape by, you know, maybe we get to the Europa League knockout stages through finishing third. Maybe we just get that little bit of luck. But I think for this year, at least, it's going to be the dream over because Umanet has scored again. Shakhtar knocking the ball around quite nicely here. 
and Umanets just places it into the bottom corner of the keeper. Questionable, really, if we're being honest, by Atalo, but I mean, we can't shift too much of the blame onto him. He's had to deal with a few shots already this game. I guess it's a little bit disappointing that Shakhtar have two shots and they both go in. But yeah, this is not looking like a game to remember right now. As Shakhtar bring forward the ball again, Sergei Samper out wide right up Nestrenko. Semakin on the overlap. Can we stop the ball getting in? We can. It's, I mean, he's made a triple save there, the keeper. That's incredible. I don't know if they were all clear-cut chances for Shakhtar, but the keeper just bailed us out there, Atalo. I thought Atalo was going to be a good replacement for um, Hamid Bar. And to be honest, he kind of has been. I feel like he's been a little bit left down by the players around him. I mean, it is important, I guess, to stress and really emphasise the fact that we are playing teams who they can afford to pay what we pay for our entire squad wage-wise, which is around £100,000. They can afford to pay that on one player. I mean, there is just a massive kind of difference in class. And if we only lose this game 2-0, I mean, that's going to be all of our opening games only lost by one goal. And that's nothing really to be ashamed of in the grand scheme of things, I don't think. We'll make a few changes here. It's been a disappointing performance again, really. We're going to make the triple change, I think. There's only 15 minutes left in this game. We are, of course, on attack. I don't really want to commit two more many men, uh, two uh, many more men forward. If we get a goal now, which is looking unlikely as time ticks away, I, I was contemplating maybe you know we'll go more attacking then. But it does look like here yeah, this game's going to finish two 0 and for the second game in a row, and well, actually no, the third game in a row in Europe, we're going to lose by a narrow two goal deficit, which is disappointing. But we do have a little bit of a weird habit of kind of getting really good results away from home. So who knows, there might be something possible. Unfortunately for us, uh, Benfica, I think, must have got a point against Arsenal. They did, they got a draw. Our goal difference isn't looking too great, and Benfica pull away from us, which is a little bit of a shame. And um, that does leave us in a little bit of a sticky situation, perhaps, unfortunately. So in terms of when we'll be back for the next episode, it will, of course, be episode 73, I believe. I think we'll come back for the Benfica game. I'm not going to do that Shakhtar game. I'm really going to be annoyed if we miss the first ever win in the Champions League, but I feel like it's coming. I really do, but at the same time, I don't want to commentate six matches a season where we just get beat fairly convincingly. So I think we'll come back for that Benfica game. That could be an important one. We'll be at home for that. And then depending on where things are, we might also do that Arsenal game away from home. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up this live con from me. Hopefully you did enjoy this episode. I'm still hoping that we're going to get a next a win soon. I mean, it's got to be coming soon, hasn't it? Like, these results, that we're not being pummeled. We really are. We're putting up stiff competition. We just need to ride our luck a little bit more and not be the kind of masters of our own downfall. But yeah, I'm now rambling on. I'm, I'm going to go cry, think about things, you know, work out what the meaning of life is. And, well, I will join you guys for that game against Benfica. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, smash the like button. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And other than that, thank you for watching to the end if you've got this far. It is me, Jack. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.